Have you ever wondered how your computer knows where the operating system is located on the hard drive? And how it loads after booting? When you turn on your computer, it goes through a series of processes before it loads your operating system. One of the most important of these steps is the Master Boot Record, or MBR. In this video, we'll explore the MBR, how it works, and why it's so important. The hard drive contains a spinning platter with a delicate magnetic coating. A head moves over the platter, reading or writing zeros and ones as tiny areas of magnetic north or south on the platter. In a hard disk, data is stored in tiny concentric tracks on the disk surface, which are arranged from the inner to the outer edge of the platter. Each circular path on the surface of a disk is called a track on which information is magnetically recorded. A circular sector, also known as a geometric sector or disk sector, is the portion of a disk. Each track is divided into sectors, as shown here. A disk sector is the minimum storage unit of a hard drive, which has a size of 512 bytes. In computer file systems, a cluster is a unit of disk or cluster of sectors allocated for files and directories. The first sector of the hard disk hosts the MBR. It is a small piece of code that's located at the very beginning of your hard drive. It's only 512 bytes in size, exactly one sector of space. The MBR is divided into three main parts. Bootloader code. The first 446 bytes of the MBR are reserved for the bootloader code, which is responsible for loading the operating system into memory and starting its execution. Partition table. The next 64 bytes of the MBR are reserved for the partition table, which describes the location of the individual partitions. The partition table is divided into four 16-byte entries, each describing a single partition. Boot signature. The last two bytes of the MBR are reserved for the boot signature, which is a two-byte value that indicates that the MBR is valid and can be used to boot the system for valid MBR. It has a value of 55 AA in hexadecimal. When the user switches the system on, the CPU sends a power good signal to the motherboard and checks for the computer's BIOS firmware. The BIOS program first evaluates the system hardware and reads the first sector of the hard disk. First sector contains MBR master boot record which has a special program called bootloader. BIOS loads it to the memory and transfers the control to the bootloader. At this point, the bootloader examines the MBR and looks for the entry of a partition that is marked as active in the partition table. The active partition is the partition that the computer will boot from. Once the bootloader has identified the active partition, it searches the hard disk for the very first sector of that partition for a boot record. The boot record is a small program that is stored in the first sector of the active partition. The boot record is checked for a valid boot signature, and if found, the boot sector code is loaded into the memory and executed as a program. Boot record loads the operating system files winload.exe and then OS kernel toss kernel.exe into memory and starts it up. Once the kernel starts running, the Windows loader loads hal.dll, boot class device drivers marked as boot start, and the system registry hive into the memory. A session manager process is invoked by the kernel to run the boot process and load all the registry hives and drivers necessary for the Win32 subsystem to run. As a result of the session manager process, winlogon.exe is triggered, presenting the user login screen for authorization. And that's how your computer boots up. From the BIOS, to the boot loader, to the active partition, and finally to the boot record. All of these pieces working together to start up your computer and get you ready to work or play. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for future videos and updates.